Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ontario Soccer Center, home of the Ontario Soccer Association and the Ontario Cup Final. In today's Under-14 Boys Cup Final, please put your hands together for the visiting team dressed in red, the Brampton East Blade. Our home team is dressed in white. Please welcome the London Jude White Caps. Check one, check two, check one, check two. Now the lineup for the home team, the London Youth White Caps O2B Blue. Number two, Matthew Matapaki. Number three, Armin Arderic. Wearing number four, Damian Pachinko. Number six, Mitchell Reiser. Number seven, Ryan Durali. <coughs> Wearing number eight, Davis Tabellos. Number nine, Juan Sebastian Gomez Galliano. Number 10, Evo Durena. Number 12, Jacob Lewis. And number 13, Dominic Kors. Number 14, Mateja Melodre. Wearing number 17, Mohammed Rafe. <coughs> number 24, Bradley Ewer. Number 44, Noor Valetti. Number 88, Elijah Barnes. Wearing number 99 and the team captain, Dylan Da Silva. Number 5, Justin Omawabi. The team officials. Assistant coach, Francesco Matapati. Manager, Simon Bordirelli. And assistant, Ron Davidson. And introducing our match of this team, we're going to for today's Ontario Cup Final. The referee, Ricky Wu. Assistant referee, John Brazzoli. The other assistant referee, Ben Cameron. Fourth official, Ben Kutowski. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem. All right, everyone, and welcome to the Ontario Soccer Center here in Vaughan, Ontario, for the boys under 14 Ontario Cup Finals between the Brampton East Blades and the London Whitecaps. I'm your play-by-play -play commentator, Martin Holmes, here to give you all the action between these two teams. But before we get started here, we, of course, like to thank Room Roster. Many of Ontario Cup teams have traveled across the province to play in their round-robin, knockoff, and finals matches. Room Roster, the presenting partner and official accommodation provider of the Ontario Cup, has been there all along the way to assist teams in finding the best group rates in the most team-friendly hotels for their overnight stay. Room Roster is also an online tournament management system that allows tournament organizers to do their job better, faster, with less headaches and more profitability than ever before, all while providing tournament participants a current, easy-to-use mobile or desktop application for planning and communicating. Visit roomroster.com to find out more. And we just had the opening anthem and the announcement of the rosters for these two teams before we get things started out here. We got to look at the team in red. It's the Branton East Blades. It looks like they're going to be having Ravine Diaz in goal. With their roster with him, he has Jordan Knight, Raheel Patel, Sukraj Nijar, Simran Singh, Javar Gill, Adam Othman, Jose Luis Castro, James Lima, Suleiman Avzali, Radain Tatum, Kaysen Miller, Shiraz and Singh Negra, Nicholas Dominguez, Justin Lima, Oluwasun Oyaguni, Harsimran Gill and Alessandro Mano is the backup keeper for these Blades. They're playing out of the Golden Horseshoe League, coming in with a record of 8-3-1. They def won their Pool B matchup to get here, defeated the York Jets, then defeated St. Catharines in the semifinal to get to this position. And they'll be going against the London Youth Whitecaps in red. In goal is the captain, Dylan De Silva, sorry. And you'll got Matthew Montepec in front of him, Armin Bradaric. Damien Pachinko, Justin Olawabi, Mitchell Reiser, Ryan Oji Rally, David Kubilos, Juan Sebastian Gomez Galliano, Abel Tyrone, Jacob Luiz, Dominic Koos, Matea Miljag, Mohamed Rafi, Riley Ewer, Noah Maladi, Elijah Barnes, and their coaches Jeff Cambridge. They won their Pool A matchup, defeated Oakville 1 0, and they defeated their Western Region rival, Windsor, in the semifinals to get to this final position here in. Vaughn, Ontario. They're coming in in a record of 13, 1, and 0 in that Western League. 
with only with 58 goals for and 10 against. Very strong offensive-minded team. Going against the Branton East team that's only given up nine goals this entire season. So check that. Alessandro Mano is in goal for the Blades. So Diaz is on the bench. So Mano in goal for the Blades. But a hey, very strong defensive team. And going, going, going against a very strong offensive team. They can go any way here. Both these two teams play 240s. And if it remains tied after 80 minutes, we go straight to penalty kicks. As the teams take the field, take got to keep an eye out for, for Olawabi. 18 goals this season for the White Cops. He's going to start out with the ball. He's got Riser right next to him. And we're going to get this kickoff off starting right here. A little bit of rainy, cloudy morning here in Vaughan, Ontario. As the game gets underway here with the White Cops, sending a deep ball into the far corner. There's Dominguez. He'll play it over into the corner. And the Whitecaps will settle the ball down. That was Riser. He turns the ball over. And the Blades are going to come in quickly the other way. We have a nice through ball coming in here for the Blades. But the defense is able to shut it down. As getting back is Kabilos. And he'll shut it down in the defense. And the Whitecaps will try to bring it up in the midfield. Rafi, he'll play a ball down the line. And there is Oluwabi. He's the player to keep an eye out for. Tries to cut inside. He gets stopped. He's got an overlap run there, but he's going to try and come to the middle. Oh, Wabi gets through two and try to center it, but his pass got blocked. And the referee will blow the play dead for the little bit of a trip there. He tried to play advantage there, didn't see any. And it's going to be a free kick for the Whitecaps. Mano was calling for three players in the wall. There's a couple of players on top of the ball. Kabilos is there. Olawabi is there as well for the Whitecaps. Rain is starting to pick up here in Vaughn. So as you know, as a keeper, the, if you do it a hard and low shot, the ball will skip and pick up speed. So if you're a free kick taker, you might want to be taking a look at taking a low shot here. Referee is telling some of the players to calm down with the pushing. And it's going to be Kabilos. He'll shoot that one right into the wall. That was Gill who was able to make that stop in a hard sliding challenge, but all ball there coming in from Kabilas and it will go out for a goal kick. We have a full slate of Ontario Cup Finals action here in Vaughan. Following this match, we're gonna be having the under 16 girls and the under 16 boys finals, followed by the women's and the men's finals here in Vaughan. So full day of action here in Ontario Cup. Mano's delivery will go right down the middle, brought down by the Blades. And they're going to send a long ball up, trying to find Othman. Instead, he'll be finding Miller. Here comes Kaysen Miller down the line, plays the ball for Othman. Can't get it through, and Miller will try to win that one back, but the Whitecaps will get control of the ball. A little bit of a push onto Rafi, and he's going to be able to win the ball here. Luis is going to sell the ball down. He'll bring it all the way back to his defense as the umbrellas have started to come up here in Vaughn. Long ball on the air. Here comes Barnes on the left side. He's going to make a run into the corner. Barnes is trying to get by the Blaze defender. It gets the ball inside the box. But getting down is Mano, who had two white jerseys all over him. Mano hits it off the outside of the foot there, and he'll go into the middle as one Blaze player Trying to fight off three Whitecaps, and he's going to be called for a foul. Referee getting the whistle going early here. Olawabi trying to get to the ball, but it's going to be the Blades getting to a first. There's Miller. Miller gets knocked down, and the referee says play on as Badarich will play it around in the back. Trying to send a ball up for Luis. A little bit too strong from him, from Kabilos, and it's going to go for a throw-in. Castro on the throw. Looking for an option, able to bring it down the middle of the field. That's Avzali. Avzali, though, couldn't control it as Bedaric is able to get it off of him. And Olawabi is going to bring it with for the Whitecaps the other way. Good early pace early, and it's going to be a foul going against Harsman, Harsman Gill as he got the arm up a little bit on Olawabi there. 
course, uh, Martin Basil Photography is taking all these shots here. If you want to see some good photos after the game, go on to the Ontario Soccer Association website probably tomorrow, and you'll see some photos if you're not able to attend this match. As we have a great crowd down here, as the Whitecaps trying to pass around the midfield, but it's Kaysen Miller able to get it off. A little bit of pushing and shoving. Oaguni is going to go for it. He gets knocked down from behind, but he's able to get the ball up to Avzali. Avzali's going to wait for some red jerseys to help him out, and he'll play the pass, unfortunately, behind his two players, and the Whitecaps are able to settle it down as London Youth are going to try and move the ball forward. Berdarch into the middle. There's Rafi. Nice little quick touches. There's Barnes trying to make a run on the left side, but the ball couldn't get to him as OG Rally tried to play it up. There's OG Rally with a nice spin move. He's created some space for himself, trying to send Olawabi through, but Gill is there to shut it down. Quick pace here early, trying to force those through balls, but can't get by either defense so far. Othman gets by one white cap player, and he'll chip it forward for Miller. As Miller brings it to the middle, Avzali. Avzali trying to get by Kobielos, but Kobielos will shut him down. And Kobielos is gonna take it the other way. He gets knocked down, but he's able to get back to his feet. He has Oluwabi up to his right. He finds him with the ball. Oluwabi with a ton of space. Shutting him down though was Castro. Castro gets the foot in there, and, and they're gonna go quickly the other way. There's a through ball in for Avzali. Avzali is through. Azali still going with it, but Darich still is able to get a foot in there and clear it away. A desperation dive there from Milladrag. Yeah, and Avzali was able to avoid that, but Berdarich just got a foot in there before Avzali could get a shot off on Dylan De Silva in goal. And we'll have the first corner kick of the match six minutes into this game. No score if you're just joining us between the Brampton East Blades and the London Youth Whitecaps. Got his own defense inside the box, and this one will get just to the near post. Cleared away first time, and the second ball will go in the way of the Whitecaps, and they're going to try and move forward with it now. There goes Oluwabi. He gets brought down by Castro, and it's going to be an early booking here. Not too sure who that went to. It looked like the referee gave it to Olawabi there. We'll have confirmation of that in just a second. Not too sure if it went to Castro because he called Olawabi over. Maybe it was for demonstration. Not too sure, but I think the yellow card went to Olawabi. And play will resume here with a free kick for the Whitecaps. Ball played. It was a little bit too strong, and this one will go all the way to Mano and goal. High ball in the air, no red jersey there, but uh, red jersey was held up. Berdarich, uh, sorry, Milledrag held up one of the Brampton East players, that's Javar Gill over on the right side, and it's gonna be a free kick around midfield. Deep ball inside the box, headed away by Berdarich. And here comes the Whitecaps, trying to clear it away, but Oyaguni is there. He'll hit it back for Castro. Castro trying to find Othman, can't find him, and there's Rafi. Rafi, sorry. And a ball played up by Riser down the right side, trying to find Oluwabi, but Gil is there to shut down, and Gil will play it off Oluwabi to win the throw-in. Castro coming in to take the throw. Othman trying to get to it, and Oyaguni will help out. Kabilos hits it out for a Brampton East throw. Has a great crowd in here on hand. We got the drums going in here. Got some nice sounds coming in. I think that's from the Brampton East faithful. And they're getting the vibes going here as Avzali is able to bring the ball down. Trying to get by Kabilos. Hasn't been an easy task for him so far. As the pass will go through, intercepted by Castro. Castro trying to send a ball, but getting back is Rafi able to shut it down. And Bernadarich will send this one down the field. It'll go down the midfield for the Whitecaps. Looks like the constant idea for the Whitecaps. Find Oluwabi up top. As Riser tried to look for him, but that pass couldn't find him. Riser again hits it to Oluwabi, who was offside. But play will continue. The referee doesn't see the assistance flag. That's a chance here as Mano makes a big save. 
as this offside flag still gets raised. And now the referee will notice it. And we got, I think it's due to all the drums and all the great noise here. Referee can't, can't hear the calls. And it's gonna be offside going against the Whitecaps. This Oluwabi did come from an offside to an onside position there. Play will continue for the Blades now. As the ball gets home for Miller. Miller down to Osman on the near side. Going against Luis. He'll send it back to Kaysen Miller down on the left side. Miller's gonna try and cross in on the left foot. Able to, Abzali has to go through a back heel there. A nice little fancy play from the Blades, but De Silva's there to make the save. And I think that was uh, Jory Vergil who has had the good chance. And now here comes Oluwabi the other way. Going against Justin Lima, and Lima's gonna win this tout. And he gets brought down, but play will continue. No, it won't, says the referee. As Lima's able to win the free kick there, end to end gameplay, exciting few minutes here in this Ontario Cup Finals. No score, as you're 10 minutes into the game here in Vaughn. Long throw and doesn't find any red jersey, and Riser's trying to get to that ball. But he gets shielded away as the Blades will bring this one all the way back to Mano and goal. Mano's going to switch it over to Castro. Castro, his clearance took a little bit of deflection off the White Caps player, and they're able to get forward with it. There is Rafi. Has Luis. Back to Bradaric. He'll play a ball into the middle. Intercepted, though by Lima, and here comes Lima the other way. Lima plays it down on the right side. There's Gil. Gil tried to play it all the way up down the line for Lima, couldn't find him, and Milledrag's gonna send it down the field. Back and forth, and OG Rally brings it down. He collides with Oyaguni, and a little bit of the second touch there from Gil, wins a free kick there. Oiguni's got a big presence in that midfield. Look to him to play that physicality role. Try to shut down this quick Whitecaps offense. Try to play a back pass and it finds out Zali instead, but Kabilos is able to read that. He hits it OG Rally. Riser. Down the right side for Rafi. I don't think Rafi's got the pace yet there. I don't think he was expecting that ball. And it's gonna go well for a throw in. Throwing from Castro, he put everything he had into that throw. And OG Rally hits it over to Rafi on the right side. Into the middle, trying to find Riser, can't find him. As Othman, Oyaguni, sorry, Miller, check that. And Miller will send this one down the field. Kabil's last man back, doesn't take any chances, hits it back to De Silva in goal. And the Whitecaps are trying to bring the ball forward. They've had majority of the possession so far, but the Blades have probably had more better of the chances. The diving challenge there from Bredard shuts down the run of Othman. Here comes Oluwabi, he's gonna try and send Barnes on the left side. Those two have combined for 28 goals this season in the Western Region Soccer League. And here comes Oluwabi, he gets brought down from behind, and it's gonna be a free kick. As Oluwabi got knocked down from behind there. And so we have free kick on the top of the box. And from this distance, you gotta be testing the keeper here. Justin Lima not too happy with that call. Still having some words with the referee there. With the turf being really wet though, like you said, you're, if you're thinking of an idea, hard and low is a very good idea here. Four players in the wall for the Blades. Oh, Abby's there, and I think that's OG Rally as well, but they're gonna leave it 
Has to be a hard and low shot. There's a rebound out front, and Mano just gets on the rebound. And London had the same idea. Hard and low. It's not going to be easy for the goalkeeper to corral a ball, but Mano is able to grab that rebound there. Cabela's doing well once again, and it goes over to Louis Speck. Well, that was a great shot there from Barnes. He had a good look on goal for the Whitecaps. Closest chance so far in this game. Oh yeah, Gooney using that size now. He's able to win the ball and he'll try to send it up for James Lima, but couldn't find him. Gill and Milijag both slide in there and it's gonna hit off the London player last. It's gonna be a throw in. 15 minutes played here, no score between the Blades and the Whitecaps here in the under 14 boys final for the Ontario Cup. As the cross gets played into the box, cleared away for a corner kick. Again, gotta credit the huge crowd here on hand. Both teams with great support here. Got a bit of a zone defense going on here once again for the Whitecaps. Got to keep an eye out for, for Othman, wide open on the far post. This ball gets played in around the penalty spot. Oh, Iguni gets ahead into it and De Silva calls off his defender and he'll get his hands onto that one. Taking his time, he finds Millie Drag, he'll send it down the field. Finds Gill instead, and Gill will just send it right back into pressure. A little bit too far ahead of four Othman, and it's going to go for a throw in. Looks like we're going to have an early substitution coming in here for the Blades. It's going to be their leading scorer, Rodane Tatum, coming into the match. Looks like the Blades are trying to look for something different up top as that throw in didn't enter play. And they're going to retake that throw. The one two for the Whitecaps. And they're gonna try and get forward here. Some nice movement as the player gets knocked down. That's Tyrone. And he'll try to win that ball back for the Whitecaps. Oh yeah, Guni. Over to Lima. To Gill on that right side. Gill though loses it to Barnes. And Barnes is gonna take it down on the left side. There goes Barnes going one on one with Patel. He'll play it into the middle. Riser's gonna look from distance, but his shot gets blocked from Gill. And they'll go into the corner. Rafi. He'll try to send a crossover. Bounces over the foot of Gil and gets cleared away by Oyaguni. Berdarch into the middle. Trying to get it forward. There's OG Rally. Can't find Riser. And here come the blades the other way of Zali going against Berdarch here. He's got Kaysen Miller with him. And a sliding challenge from Kabilos. He's been a great defensive threat right now. Wind now starting to pick up here, going in the way of Mano's goal as Olawabi's through. He gets around, he gets brought down by Mano. And no call, says the referee. That one's gonna be a controversial call. As Olawabi got in around the goal, he looked like Mano collided with Olawabi, got the hands onto him, bringing it down the striker. But no, says the referee, and play will continue as Olawabi gets brought down again. And the referee's telling him to get up. The referee's saying, I think he's thinking that Olawabi's going down a little bit too lenient right now. And the referee's not having any of it. Probably why he didn't give the call there. As the play continues, with the Whitecaps having the ball all the way back to their keeper. But Adarich down the line, able to find number 17, that's Rafi. Tyrone trying to play a ball back to him, but finds the red jersey of Othman instead. Kabilos back to Tyrone. He's gonna play a ball down the left side for Barnes. That goes over the head of Patel. And there's Barnes giving chase on to Patel. Patel hits it down the line, but Barnes keeps this one in. 
And he's gonna try and cut inside, but getting back is one of the midfielders for the Blades. Barnes going with a low shot, but that will go straight out to Mano. And he'll cover that one up. Mano hits it off of the toe there, and Austin's gotta come back, but can't save this one in. Mano just can't get the timing so far early here, but he'll figure it out as the game progresses. The rain really starting to pick up here. Could probably see it on your screen on home. But the rain really picking up here. Rafi's throw. Nice little back heel there from Tyrone. OG Rally, he plays the ball inside the box. Oh, Abby Lees is it. It was a low shot saved and cleared away as Riser had a good look on to goal. And Riser will get that ball back now. Plays it down the line for Barnes. London keeping up with the pressure, but the Branton East players are continuing. And that one looked like a hit off of a player on the Whitecaps. And it's going to go for a goal kick as they're going to make the substitution here as Tatum's going to come on. And he's going to replace off Zali. So a change and the striker position. It's going to be the goal, leading goal scorer for these Blades. Nine goals so far this season. Almost a third of his team goals in the Golden Horseshoe. As well as Jordan Knight, the guy who's number two on the team. Six goals this season. He will replace Adam Mothman on the left side. So a change on the attacking force. As the Bramptonese trying to see if they can get something going up top. We'll see if their two strong additions will lead them to that goal. As Tatum doesn't get a good first touch there. And he can't find Knight as Castro's going to come all the way back now. Castro gets away from the oncoming attacker. Try to pass it to Miller. And that's what you expect with the wet ball. The ball's going to be a little bit skippier. So you got to get a strong foot onto that one. As it slides under the foot of Casey Miller. It's going to go for a throw. Luis's throw. Trying to find Oluwabi. But Gill is able to get in there. Arson Marin Gill, that defender, he's in charge of shutting down Oluwabi. He's had a difficult task so far. OG Rally trying to hold the line, does. And it's going to continue to go down the line, and Oluwabi does well to keep it in. Tyrone into the middle. OG Rally. He's still battling for his OG Rally, going against Knight. And he doesn't like what he sees going for, and he'll bring this one all the way back to his defense. OG Rally with a great touch. He's gonna switch it over now to Barnes. Barnes with a great touch. Gets it by the defender. Here comes Elijah Barnes into the box. Last man back is Gill, and he comes over and shuts down that run. But a great touch there from Barnes to bring that ball down in the air. Gets around two attackers. And the last defender back, Harson Moran Gill, is able to shut him down. Twenty two minutes played here. No score between the London Youth Whitecaps and the Brampton East Blades. Minor the Blades got here. They won their pool B. Then defeated the York Jets four to one before defeating St. Catharines in the semifinals to get to this position. As the Blades are gonna clear the ball away. Nice little drop from Miller getting away from OG Rally and he's gonna send it up to Tatum. Tatum's got fresh legs. Tatum tonight. Back to Tatum as Knight gets brought down. I don't think the referee saw that as the Whitecaps are able to clear it away. But the two new players bringing in some new threats up top right there. Showing in some speed. As the Whitecaps, they won their pool A, defeated Oakville, and then defeated their Western Region rivals, the Windsor squad, before coming to this finals position. Neither of these two teams have met this season. Looks like the rain's starting to subside as we have a high ball inside the box. Can the Whitecaps clear it away? There's Tatum, and he just gets that one wide. Good look there from Rodane Tatum. They couldn't get to the near post finish as Simran Singh is gonna come into the game. He's gonna replace Kaysen Miller up top. So Simran Singh is into the game. He's going to go in that defensive midfield position. 
So it's like, oh yeah, Goonie's gonna come up into a more of an offensive midfielder role. Here comes De Silva with his kick. Tyrone is able to bring down, there's OG Rally. OG Rally trying to send the ball up a little bit too strong, but it somehow finds its way to Olawabi. Over down to the right, Rafi over on the right side. He gets battle hard against Singh, and Singh will hit out of play for a London throw. Top of the box, Tyrone trying to get his way through. Couldn't do so, and it goes all the way back to Bradaric. Bradaric trying to switch it over. Finds Lima, who's going to send it over. Trying to find the other Lima up top. That's James. There's James Lima. Got two white jerseys with him. Trying to play a ball on the right side. And all ball there as Barnes is able to clear it away for a throw. Quick throw down the line. Can't control it though. And it's going to be a white cap's throw. Just a reminder, we're gonna be there's gonna be the match officials day on October 1st. Toronto FC and the Ontario Sox Soccer Association are proud to present the match official appreciation day at BMO Field. Come enjoy some pre-game festivities and celebrate the unsung work by referees across the province. A portion of all ticket sales goes to placing life-saving defibrillators at OSA pitches. Tickets are $40 each and can be purchased through the OSA website. So that was the match officials day on October 1st as action continues here with the Whitecaps with possession of the ball and their side of the field. Trying to play a ball up for Barnes. Can't get by Patel and the Blades are going to try and go the other way. Lima try to back heel it past the drag and he just finds Kabilos instead. Riser. He's got some space in the midfield. Looking for some options, didn't see anything going forward. Smartly brings it back to Luis. Good movement coming here from the Whitecaps. Millie Drag, able to shake off the oncoming attack, plays a through ball and just behind the foot of Tyrone. And the Blades are able to clear and here comes Tatum. Tatum now gonna use that pace. Tatum, but again, Kabilos, unbelievable. He gets his jersey pulled and brought down and Tatum is gonna go into the book for that one. And he grabbed the jersey onto Kabilos right in front of that referee. I believe that he's going to be the first Brantonese player to go in the box. I'm still not sure. We'll figure out at halftime who got that first yellow. If it was either Olawabi or Castro. But play will continue here for the Whitecaps. 27 minutes played. Reminder, if they play 40 minutes here, nil-nil so far between these two teams. A very exciting affair. Tyrone. OG Rally. He's going to try and fight his way in through. He gets blocked. There's Bradaric, nice little ball and finds Tyrone, and he can't get by. As getting there was Justin Lima to clear it away. Over to James Lima. There's James Lima. Plays it in for Tatum. Tatum to James Lima once again. But there's Milijak. He bodies him aside as Bradaric will clear to the side for throwing. Throwing down the line, there's Millie Drag. He'll hit this one high in the air and clear it away. Oyaguni, though, hits a high and deep ball over his head as Knight and Tatum are both trying to get to it. Tatum looking for a call there, not getting it. And play will continue. Get, uh, check that Limo is looking for a call. A little bit of a push, slight push there. But play still will continue as Olawabi gets that ball. And Gil with this one in high in the air, but a little bit of a backspin on this one. And Castro trying to keep this one in, can't do so, but he hits it against the fence. Check that Singh hits it against the fence as he was filling in for Castro there. Luis taking this one quickly. Nice little one-two with his defense, and they'll play down the line. A lot of action on this near side as it's going to be the Blades winning the throw in here. 
Smart play for the Blades, that which is exactly what Castro's doing. Slow the play down a little bit. Get possession of the ball, get, get it into their game a little bit. And Knight does well, he gets through that attack somehow. He'll play a low ball into the box. There's Tatum, Tatum, Lima, he'll leave it. There's a shot from Gill, burnt down and in! And the Blades get the goal for Joy for Gill! A beautiful play first. It was Jordan Knight on the near sideline. Gets by two players. Sends a low ball on Tatum. Over to Gill. Check that. It's over to Lima. Lima touches over to Gill first time. And it's a bar down and in. And Jordan Gill gets the blades on the board first in the 30th minute. And exactly what we were just talking about. The Blades need to slow the play down. They did. And it was Knight who created that opportunity. And Gill with an emphatic finish there. And that's a huge goal just before the halftime break. And we'll have to see here how will both teams respond. The Whitecaps have had most of the chance, most of the possession here this game. But it's the Blades who scores first. So here comes Gill, the goal scorer, here once again. He'll play a deep ball into the box. Headed into the corner, Luis battling against Knight. Luis staying strong, a little bit of too hard onto the back of Knight and he's gonna win a free kick. That's when teams are always most vulnerable, right after a goal. So these next few minutes are very key going into the halftime whistle. Let's see if the Blades can continue this pressure. Just see if they can get a second goal for the break. Or will the Whitecaps go continue their pressure right onto the Blades? But right now, here's a good opportunity for Jordan Knight. This one going to around the punch spot. Kabilos gets ahead on that one. Oh, Lobis communication. That was Tatum and Gil, the goal scorer there once again. And they missed communication right there and they both went for the ball. As it looks like another substitution coming in here. It's gonna be Avzali coming back into the game. Suleiman Avzali. And he's gonna be replacing James Lima in the right attacker role. <laughs> and now we're gonna be having a London substitution. And it's gonna be after the next play, but it looks like it's gonna be Mitchell Riser coming off in his attacking midfield position. So London trying to see if they can get something new going forward. As Bradaric brings the ball down, but there's Avzali. Little low shot there, but that won't trouble De Silva as all. Well, as Simran Singh looked to go for goal there. Kabilos, his touch got a little bit too far ahead of him. And Luis is there. Luis trying to play down the line. He finds Castro instead. And Singh will hit it to Oyaguni. We got an injured White Cops player. And it looks like it's Olawabi. That's not a player they want down on the field. They're going to continue to go forward here. Are the White Cops with their injured player? It looks like Olawabi's grabbing that knee. And. Their leading goal scorer, their striker, down on the pitch. And the medical staff having to come onto the field. Not a good sign here. Coming up at 12.30 p.m. will be the under 16 girls final. It's going to be between the Woodbridge striker and the Burlington Bayhawks. Followed at 3 p.m. with the under 16 boys game. Waterloo United versus the Scarborough Wexford Stingers. 5.30 will be the women's action. Scarborough GS United against the Vaughn, Missouri. The United three-time defending champions there. Going against the men's, uh, going after what will be the men's final at 8 p.m. to finish off the day. It'll be a great match winning Gloucester Celtic and Keldon FC. And Olawabi looks like he's going to need a change. That's an unfortunate sight to see for these Whitecaps who are down by one. 
I'm gonna say Dominic Quartz is gonna come on. So Quartz is gonna go up top on the striker position. And well, hopefully Oluwabi will go into the halftime break, walk this one off and receive a return in the second half. And play will resume now with Mano holding the ball. And he's going to get a kick down into midfield. No red jerseys there once again. Haven't been able to win those balls in the air. As here comes a shot there from Riser. That won't trouble the goalkeeper at all. Go low and wide as London will now be able to make their substitution. So it's going to be Mitchell Riser coming off. And coming on will be Juan Sebastian Gomez Galliano. So Gomez Galliano is going to replace Riser and then he's going to go into that attacking midfield position. So two new players up top now for the Whitecaps with five minutes remaining in this first half. Can they get that goal to tie things up before the halftime whistle? Man, I was going to play this one short. There's Castro. To Singh. Singh with a nice touch is able to bring him down. Doesn't see anything going forward and he'll bring it back to Castro again. Castro's ball into the mill. Finds OG rally for the Whitecaps. And they're going to try and go the other way with it now. Singh, a smart play there. Back heels it off of the Whitecaps player. Wins the throw in. There's Castro at the throw. Finds Knight. Knight's battling it. The ball didn't go out of play. That one kind of froze for a second, and that's going to allow the Whitecaps to come out with it. But OG Rally stumbled a little bit, but he's able to win that ball back. He gets knocked down from behind by Singh right in front of Coach Hedy Hoffman. And he, and he just says, okay, you know what? I'll accept that foul right there. Referee telling the play to move back a little bit as Kabilos will come over to take the free kick. High line here for the Blades. That shows some very confident goalkeeping in Mano to come out, if anything. This ball get played in, headed up, still bouncing on the box, still going loose, and it'll find its way out to the far post, and there's Barnes to keep it in. Barnes trying to cross it, and the Blades do well to not let that ball go out of play for a corner. Still battling, though. And now, Luis was, looks like was able to get uh, the Blades player to hit it out of play for a corner kick. This one will go near post, headed on by Bradaric. But that goes straight into the hands of Mano. Good header there from the center back. And the Blazers are going to try and go the other way. Tatum blows by Luis. And Tatum's still trying to go forward, try to play a through ball in. But it's Bradaric who's there. Millie Drag down on the right side. His pass was a little bit too strong. Check that. He tried to find Rafi. As it looks like London's going to make a little, made a little bit of a tactical switch. Rafi's over on the left midfield row, and Barnes has switched over to the right midfield side. A lot of the action on this right side, so you would want one of your top goal scorers in Barnes, who has played very well so far, to get into the play a little bit more and maybe get a couple more chances. Millie Drag hits this one high and away. Brought down by Singh. Had it won by Oiguni. Tatum try to turn with it. He finds Kabilos, and you got to credit Kabilos. Very confident center back right there. Not afraid to play with it. And here comes Kors the other way, but he's offside. Kors can't believe it, but it looked like from this view, he was just a step. He took a step a little bit too early there, and he was offside.
High ball in from Lima. Can't get by Luis. And there's Kotz. Kotz doing well. Still going with his Kotz. And now Knight is able to take it off him. And he tried a dangle by Luis but had to roll off his foot. Gomez Galliano to OG Rally. Trying to find Tyrone. Tyrone is battling hard with the goal scorer Gil as Gil will send the ball up. And here comes up Zali. But once again, Kabilo, Sakai's been a rock in the back as he's able to hit a ball forward. OG Rally. Gomez Galliano, he's going to try and play a ball up for Barnes. Barnes hesitated though. Didn't think that ball was going to get by Castro. And by slowing down his pace there, he couldn't get to that one. But he is able to win a throw in. Waiting from the indication from the fourth official, it's going to be one minute of additional time, it looks like. As the Blades are trying to clear it away from the corner. So it is one added minute, just a confirmation there from the announcer. As here come the Blades the other way. Tatum. And it's Kabilos. Kabilos hits this one forward as we got an injured player and it looks like it's Berdaric holding his back, the center back. Stumbling a little bit, but looks like he's gonna toughen it out here. He says he's he says he's gonna be okay. Is Armin. And we have a late substitution. Oyaguni, the captain, he'll come out. And Kaysen Miller comes back into the game into center midfield. And will be probably one of the last plays here of this first half. A goal from Jorvier Gill has these two teams separated as a beautiful individual effort from Jordan Knight. He'll play it, send a cross in, couple nice touches, and a nice hard finish from Gill. Bar down in the top corner, no chance for De Silva in goal. Separated these two teams. That is going to the break. It's going to be Brantonese Blades 1, London Whitecaps 0 here. I'd like to also thank Sport Engine, helping the world play smarter and live more. Sport Engine, the OSA's official technology partner, is the leading provider of sport life management web software and mobile applications for youth, amateur, and professional sports, powering more than 500,000 sports teams, leagues, clubs, and associations. Sport Engine features a complete suite of easy-to-use tools that help sports organizations manage, connect, and communicate with a diverse range of stakeholders, including athletes, parents, administrators, coaches, referees, scouts, volunteers, fans, journalists, and sponsors. That is Sports Engine. We're going to have a little bit of a break here as the teams will go over things going to the second half. Don't go anywhere. Ontario Cup Finals, under 14, boys. We'll see you guys in just a few minutes.
All right, and welcome back, everyone, to the Ontario Soccer Center here in Vaughan, Ontario. For the second half action in the boys under 14 cup finals here between the Brantonese Blades and the London Whitecaps. The Blades are in the red jersey. They are leading one to nothing over a goal from Joy Vergil, a beautiful individual effort. Bar down and in on the top corner as these two teams separated. And these London Whitecaps, they're in the white going from your right to your left. Have 40 minutes left. See if they can tie this game up. If these two teams do remain tied after that 40 minutes, we will go straight to penalty kicks. We'll have to see. Talked with uh, Oluwabi uh, during the halftime break. He says he's going to be okay. Just a little bit of a knock. And we'll see him subbed on very shortly. And just to confirm with the referee as well, it was a yellow card given to him as well for descent. So one yellow card for each team so far as we get action going away here. And Avzali coming in with some great speed for the Blades. But it's been that rock of defense from Kabilo shutting him down once again. And if I had to play a player of the first half, even though if they're losing, it's got to be Kabilos. He's played unbelievable. As a hard collision as Miller brings down OG Rally. And OG Rally actually caused the free kick. And it's going to be going towards the Blades. Whitecaps a little bit confused onto that call as is myself up here in the booth but play will continue here with the goal scorer that's Gill here number six he's gonna be playing a ball into the box here line is on the 18 here as he's gonna play this one far post Oyaguni gets ahead to that one still bouncing around Castro can't fire that one off and the Whitecaps are gonna try and go quickly the other way there's Quartz he's come on as the substitute to replace the injured Oluwabi as he's going to wait for some white jersey to help out. And he does the smart thing. Bring this one back to the defense. But Berdarch has a scary first touch there. But he's able to recover to get away from that oncoming speed of Tatum. Knight. Try to find Gill. His pass is a little bit too far ahead of him. And the Whitecaps are able to win that ball away. Rafi. He came over to the left midfield late in the first half on a tactical switch. Hits the ball up. Gomez Galliano. And for Courts. Courts, can he get a shot away? He gets one, it took a deflection, and Mano just makes the save. Always a tricky one there. It hit off of the defender's foot, and that one looked like it could have gone into the bottom corner. Mano taking no chances, knocking that one aside, especially on a wet, slippery turf. And it's gonna go out for an early corner kick, and that is what the Whitecaps want starting out this second half. Man-to-man -man defense for the Blades. This one's going to go near post. Berdard try to get a little bit of a touch onto that one. But the Blades are able to block it. And they'll clear it away for throwing. These Blades coming in. They won their Pool B group before being the York Jets. And then St. Catharines in the semifinals to get to this position here. While the Whitecaps won Pool A. And then defeated Oakville. Then their Western Region rivals, Windsor. To get to these finals. To try and see if they can take home the Ontario Cup championships. Tatum has that ball roll off his foot. And Luis is going to take this one quickly for London. Miller gets all the ball there. But it goes out for another throw in. As London's just marching down the line here with throws. Your play by play commentator here, Martin Ohms here. Make sure to all stay tuned for the rest of the Ontario Cup finals action here today. We got five games here on the slate. So it's going to be an exciting day of your soccer if you're just watching that Manchester Derby this morning and now you're going to be watching these great five games of the top soccer here in Ontario. Single player in the wall for Branton as Kabilos has come over to take this free kick on the near sideline. He'll play this one high. Had it away though by the Blades and Tatum's gonna try and get the second touch. Now the Blades trying to go for a counter, but that gets shut down by Millie Drag. Berdaric in the air, 
Still a little back and forth. Can any team bring the ball down? And it's finally gonna be settled here by Gil. Try to touch it to Avzali. Avzali though couldn't control it and now the Whitecaps trying to go forward with it. But getting over there was Simran Singh and he'll hit it out for a throw. Radarich up for Rafi. There's Quartz. He does well, but Rafi couldn't get to a Singh was able to get it back. Quartz is able to get by the defender, but I think the defender got a piece of it, just slowed down the ball enough for Singh to get back and clear it away. Holding the arm there was Tyrone. And the referee's telling the players he sees it, let, let him call the game there. Tyrone grabbing the arm of Gil there, and he gets brought down for a free kick. High ball into the corner. Hitting it over his head was Millie Drag. And a little bit of a collision there as Gill went up a little bit too aggressively to win that ball. London doing what they did the first half, majority of the possession. They just haven't been able to test Mano much and go and get those chances in front of the net. Right, they're going against this Brampton East team. Only nine goals again so far in the Golden Horseshoe League. Not an easy team to score on, and we're starting to see why with London constantly pressing. Singh trying to bring this one up. Finds a Whitecaps player who's trying to bring the ball up, look for some options. There's Gomez Galliano for Courts. Courts. No advantage there, said the referee. So he's gonna call free kick for London as Quartz got a little bit of a kick from behind there. Again, you're hearing that nice little drum flare here as Kabil sends this one high. Hits off the bar, rebound, run for it. Can he finish? Save from Mano, rebound, scores! Kabilos with a high free kick. Hits off the crossbar. Mano couldn't do anything, and the rebound finds its way to a London player. I think that was OG Rally. And he first shot, saved by Mano, but he picks up his own rebound, and London has tied it. Unbelievable scenes here in Vaughn, as it's a tie game here, as Ryan OG Rally puts home the rebound. But Kobielus with that floating free kick, and that one's always tricky. It just floats in the air and just started to drop. Mano jumped up, tried to jump for that one. Hits off the bar, and OG Rally just finds himself with a ton of open space right in front of him. Mano did excellent to stop the first one, but OG Rally slid in there, got his own rebound, and slid it into the open goal. And it's one-to-one -one here in the Ontario Cup Finals in the 48th minute. And this game's intensity is just gonna go an extra level now. As London coach trying to see if they could get anything going forward. Found it. And there's confirmation of OG Rally's goal. As Branton East is gonna try and see if they can regain the lead here. There's Tatum. Tatum does well, gets away from two players. Third one coming all the way over is Gomez Galliano and he shuts down his run. But Tatum is able to win that ball back. Avzali trying to send it back for Tatum. But getting back over is Millie Drake to shut down that run. And you could just hear the intensity from the crowd. The drums are blaring faster. The coaches are yelling louder. And the speed of the game is picking up here. As here comes that through ball and trying to find Tatum once again. And Millie Drake hits it over to Luis who will hit, knock it out of play for a throw in. Half an hour remaining here. Anything can happen here, one to one. Make sure to stay tuned. Coming up next will be the under 16 girls final. And that one's gonna be going between the Burlington Bayhawks and the Woodbridge Strikers.
Ball's bouncing around in midfield, finds its way down for Avzali. Avzali hits it for trying to find Tatum. Tatum gets it around. Can he get a shot away now? Does He does, but that will just go across the other side of the box. And now for a goal kick. You can hear that, Brenton East fans loving the music here, trying to get their team going forward. Trying to see if they can get this winning goal here as De Silva's gonna take this one short to Kabilos. Kabilos out for Quartz. Quartz though can control this one and it finds its way to the blades instead. Singh doesn't get a good touch on that one and he'll hit it out of play for a throw in. Millie drags throw down the line. Trying to find Quartz once again. Singh gets a toe in there and there'll be another throw down the line. Brampton East is gonna be making another substitution it looks like. James Lima's gonna find his way back in the game. That's gonna be a free kick going against the Blades. That's going on the corner of the box. Justin Lima can't believe the call once again. But this one's gonna be on the corner. This one could be dangerous and if Kabilos can float this one in once again, can the Whitecaps get another one off a set piece? Rain starting to come down here again here in Vaughn. The wind has died down though, so it's just a nice little spitting rain here. Help the players stay a little bit cool. This was the spot's always very interesting. He could go for goal here or try to cross it. And he's going to send a low ball in. Hit off, I think, his own player there. And the Blades are able to clear it away. And there's Kaysen Miller over on the far side. He gets stopped though by Luis. And Luis shuts down Miller twice and is able to win the throw in. The little guy, Jose Luis over on the far side. Do, Jake, sorry, Jacob Luis is able to win that ball. London th thought they won the throw in there. And it's going to be a Branton throw instead there. Branton's trying to make a substitution, but they're going to take the throw in quickly. Tyrone down the left side. Both players are hustling to get it. And it's going to be a Brampton throw. And they're going to wait so they can make their substitution. James Lima is going to come into the game. And he's going to replace Avzali. So a change in the right strike position. Avzali came on for Lima in the first half. And Lima is going to take back his position now. Gil down the line. He collided hard. And he tried to look for a foul there. Knocking again. He's going to try and get to his feet. There's the goal score. OG Rally sends a through ball in. Can't find courts up top. Luis. He hits it over his head. Trying to find Barnes. Barnes though can't keep it in. It's going to go for throwing on the right side. Bouncing around in midfield. A little collision between a couple of players, but it finds its way towards the London youth squad. Ojirali finds Quartz. Quartz tries the first time in on the volley, but can't redirect it onto goal. Fifty-fourth minute, one to one between Brampton East and London in these boys under fourteen finals. It's been an exciting affair if you're just tuning in. And to end gameplay as Luis gets brought down hard, but play will continue. And it's gonna be a free kick going in the way of the White Castle, much to the dismay of the Brampton Faithful. Go, 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 go. Early, early, early. 
Another drag. Gets away from his attacker and he'll bring the ball forward. That touch might be a little too far. Yes, it is too far for Quartz to get to. Throw goes down the line. Headed on, second ball. Gill hits this one over his head. A little back and forth play. And Gomez Galliano gets taken away. And it's the captain, Oyagundi. He's gonna bring this one forward. Finds his player on the left side. That's Lima, Lima in the second chance. Gets to the middle. Miller though has it fall off his foot. And it gets cleared away by Kobilos. Knight on the right side. He'll play a ball inside the box. Here's Miller. Hasten Miller. Can't pull the trigger. And he'll bring this one back. Bor Singh who tried to play into the ball. Oyaguni. He tried to play it. There's Lima. He does an acrobatic effort. Miller. And he just gets under that one. And it goes out for a goal kick. Paul just bouncing around the top of the box there. Just no one could get that shot towards goal. The Branton East Blade starting to get some offensive prowess going here now in this tie game. And it looks like it's Justin Oloabi. It looks like his knee's going to be okay. He's going to sub back into the game now. As De Silva's just going to retake now his goal kick. Silva's going to switch the play over. Bradaric under pressure right off the bat. Bradaric is under a ton of pressure here. And he gets brought down by Lima from behind. And he wants a free kick. Lima can't believe it. But Bradaric, that's a dangerous ball. And Knight gets to it. He'll hit it back. Uh, Blades putting everything they can to get that goal back. But Knight can't hold down the line. And it goes out for a throw. Quartz trying to get by the defensive Gill. Arsen Moran Gill does well there and he'll hit it forward. Justin Lima switching it all the way down the right side. Here comes the pace. Driver Gill. There's three white jerseys on him. He still has to get past off. Knight. And he, Knight thinks he got interfered with, but no, says the referee. As Quartz is going to go the other way. You can feel the intensity brewing here at the Ontario Soccer Center. As Gomez Galliano is going to bring this one up. He's got Barnes to his right. Trying to play it up for Barnes. Finds nobody, though, but a red jersey. Miller, Tatum, Tatum gonna carry this up. Tatum down the left side, Lima, and it's the man himself, Kabilos, once again, with a great sliding challenge, and he's gonna try and go for a counterattack, but his pass was a little bit too strong for Quartz. But man, London's last line of defense is David Kabilos, and he's done the job exceptionally well. And London's gonna bring Oluwabi back in the game. 18 goals so far this season in the Western Region Soccer League. Trying to see if he can add to his tally here. As he's gonna be taking off Elijah Barnes. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised, yes, Quartz is gonna switch into the right, right wing. And Oluwabi will go back to his center striker role. Seeing Mitchell Reiser also come back into the game. And he's gonna replace Gomez Galliano in the attacking midfield position. So starters almost all back on the field now. Rafi, Tyrone, back for Rafi. And getting a foot in there is Oyaguni. And he'll send this one all the way down the line. Kabilos has to play in the corner. Hits it back to his keeper, De Silva. Doesn't get a best touch on that one but he finds a white jersey there. There's Riser. Riser gets bodied up by Oyaguni, and Oyaguni's gonna get that ball right back. 
He's gonna try this one from distance. And that one took a little bit of a hop. I don't know what happened there with De Silva, but I think he thought that was going out of bounds. And that bounce, maybe when it took off the turf, maybe got confused a little bit. And taking no chances, hits it out for a corner kick. But that was some quick reflexes there from the captain, Dylan De Silva, in goal. Here comes the corner from the blades. That one's going for a post dangerous. And it's headed wide. Tyson Miller was there in tight, but couldn't get it through. Always difficult in those those far post one. The silver probably should have maybe turned there. Because those ones, if you're missing that ball, you're leaving an open goal. But Miller just couldn't find that near corner. Always difficult though. Those ones are always difficult as a keeper. There's a riser. And he gets cleared away. A little back and forth ping pong action here in midfield. As OG Rally's finally able to settle it down. There's Olawabi trying to get by Gil. Can't do so now. Olawabi stretching the leg. And he's able to shut it down for just a second. But here comes Lima the other way. A hard challenge there from OG Rally, but he got the ball there. Brampton fans disagreeing there, but. Ojirali got the ball. As Oyaguni down the line, can't find his player up top. And it's gonna be a London throw. And we're at the 62nd minute now. 20 minutes remaining here in this one-to-one -one tie game here. A reminder, if it does remain at this score, one-to-one, -one, we'll go straight to penalty kicks to decide this final championship. But still, 20 minutes of action, lots of Soccer still to be played as that through ball and a little bit too difficult. And that one took a deflection. De Silva trying to save it, but it's going to be a corner kick. Bl this game just kind of shifted. London have to figure out a way. They've had they had all the pressure going, but as the game's starting to progress here, the blades starting to come alive with the offense. Eight three and one in the Golden Horseshoe League, but only nine goals against. We've mentioned. Here comes a corner kick. Headed down. Oh, I thought that went in too. And oh, the whole bench, everyone went jumped up. But he headed wide once again. Another sad piece. And it is Kaysen Miller once again. Who had a great header. But that one goes in behind the goal. Great scenes on hand here at the Ontario Soccer Center. Couple back and forth plays, and that one will go out of play. Just to remind you about the match officials day, Toronto FC and the Ontario Sox Association are proud to present the match official appreciation day at BMO Field on October 1st. Come enjoy some pre-game festivities and celebrate the unsung work by referees across the province. A portion of all ticket sales goes to placing life-saving defibrillators at OSA pitches. Tickets are $40 each and can be purchased at the OSA website as a through ball in from Tatum. Tatum again doesn't get much onto that one. And De Silva will cover that one up as they try to find Case and Miller in the middle. High kick from De Silva. Brought down by the Blades. And Oyaguni's going to try and hit this one up the middle, but OG Rally intercepts. And here comes London the other way. Looks like some of the legs have started to get away from the London players. But uh, they're going to try and go forward here, fight through the pain. Coach Cambridge right there, having some words with Millie Drag. And his throw will go down the line. Singh hits this one out and it's going to go for a throw and down in the corner. A 
Little one, two. Trying to cross it in. Gets brought down, trying to find a free kick, but he finds a corner kick. And the London Youth Whitecaps have a corner kick on the near side of the field. Some pushing and shoving going right in front of the keeper. And the referee's gonna have a word with both those two players. Ever saying enough. That was Riser and Castro. This one's a dangerous ball, headed away by Castro. Second chance here, Millie Drag. Over to Luis, can Luis get inside the box? He'll play something through, Oluwabi brings it down on the corner, can he get a shot, he gets brought down. Still going as Oluwabi, and it just gets cleared away by Oyaguni. And it's gonna go for a throw in. Kotz over to take the throw. Oyaguni heads it away though, and the blade's trying to go the other way with Knight. Knight's gonna play this one up for Tatum. Tatum gonna go against Bradaric, and Bradaric will stop him and hit it down the line. Alawabi wins it off the throw in. He's gonna try and go forward here. Oluwabi's gotta be careful there. He dove in there. He's on a yellow card. Gotta be careful. It is Justin Oluwabi for that free kick. Bouncing around. Looked like that hit off a hand. But play will continue. Riser. And that got read clearly by the Blades defender. That was Castro. Riser is able to bring it down once again. There's Quartz just too far ahead of him though. And I'll go for a throw in. <laughs> Looks like Barnes is gonna come back into the game for the Whitecaps. Probably replace Quartz on the right side. As the throne will go down the line, Oluwabi. He does well going against Oyaguni. Oluwabi, still going and Oyaguni wins that battle and he'll send it down the line for Lima. Luis gets a foot in there and OG Rally will go for it. OG Rally, a little bit of a collision there but they'll still continue here are the Whitecaps. Riser, Tyrone, back to Riser who just has a slide under his foot. Riser, up for Oluwabi, and knocked away by Gill. There's Tatum, Tatum. Miller trying to go for it, and it goes to Bradaric. Back and forth, you're trying to see the midfield, there's a little bit tired here on both sides, and that's creating a huge gap in the midfield. And we're gonna see a lot of end-to-end -end action here. Knight trying to get in there, he brings down Tyrone, but Whitecaps get position of the ball. Riser though, doesn't get a good touch onto that one. But Quartz is able to get back. Can he keep this one in? Yes, he will. Great job from the winger. He'll send it up to Oluwabi. His job is just to hold it and wait until his players come join him. But he meets a face full of Oyaguni, and he'll send it forward. Gil. Gil's going to strike it from distance, and that takes a bounce, but straight into the hands of De Silva. Gil feeling a little bit confident after scoring his goal. Try to go with it. From goal for goal from distance there. Miller. Miller trying to get through on the midfield. He brings it over on the left side. There is James Lima. Lima gets away from Luis. Lima going by him again. Sends the ball inside the box, but no red jersey is there. And De Silva will be able to corral that cross. And if you're De Silva right now, yes, take your time. 
Let your players get up the field. You're under pressure. Although Abi is able to get to it, he's got to find some options. Can't find it, and it's going to be Castro. Miller. Lima, he does well to dance away. And it's going to be Tyrone going forward down the right side. This court's trying to find Oluwabi. I wasn't too sure if he was going to be on side, though. But it's going to go for a White Cops throw as Barnes is going to find his way back on the field. And he's going to be replacing Jacob Luis, a right fullback. Interesting. And let's see who's going to be shifting back. So it's going to be Mohamed Rafi is going to go into the right fullback position. And Barnes is going to go on the left side now. So Rafi's job, a lot of action on, on, the, on, that, far, on that far side. His job's going to be shutting down Lima and Miller on that far side is Rafi. Uh, nine minutes to go here in this tied game. OG Rally with the goal for London. Joraver Gill with the goal for the Blades as we have a little bit of an elbow here. It's going to be called. And Rahil Patel, who was on for the first half in the fullback position. He got subbed off at halftime. He looks to be coming on. The striker Oluwabi is going to be on this set piece. Left footed take. He's going to curl this one in. Doesn't get much onto that one. Finds Oyaguni. But Oluwabi will be able to get that ball back. Quartz. His ball gets blocked and it wins a corner kick for the Whitecaps. Quartz has done, gr ha done a had He's just had a great game since coming on as a substitute. When Olawabi got injured. As you see, Noah Malati, number 44, warming up on the sidelines. Might be starting to see some tactical switches if it does go to penalty kicks for what shooters you want. Oh, Girali was open in front. Far post shot there. And Riser can't redirect it onto goal. Still going under pressure. Olawabi fakes the shot. Second chance. Still going. Oh, Girali. Back for courts. Courts going for a block. Still bounce around. Oh, Girali goes over the goal. That one was just bouncing all around the box. And OG Rally finally got that one towards goal, but fired it over. And it's going to be Castro coming off. Or check that. It's going to be Jory Vergil coming off the goal score. He's going to replace Raheel. And he's going to be. Raheel Patel is going to be filling in for him on the right midfield position. As the goal kick comes in, finds his way to OG Rally. In for Barnes, Barnes gets by Patel. And here comes Barnes, one on one with the defender, cuts inside, and Patel is able to get back and win the ball away, but Barnes does well just to get it right back. Millie Drag, good fake from him. Try to play down the line for Barnes, but it got red there by Patel. And that one almost found its way into the booth for throwing. We got an injured Whitecaps player down on the pitch. Looks like it's Tyrone and he needs a sub, it looks like. <coughs> Tyrone looks like he picked up a bit of a knock or a cramp. And it's going to be Noah Malati coming into the game. So Malati in in the central midfield. He was warming up, so he was ready to come in. And there you see him, that fresh legs, able to block that pass. And, and here comes Branson, going to make another substitution. You're starting to see some of these players you might want to see taking shots as Adam Othman. He was one of the starters coming in, and he's going to replace Jordan Knight. 
The man who set up the goal for the Brampton East Blades comes off the field. And Othman finds his way back on the field. Five minutes to go, plus additional time. Here at the Ontario Soccer Center, tie game. Penalty kicks are looming to decide the Ontario Cup Championships. Miller brings it down. Can't get up by Kabilos. If I had to pick a player of the game, it's got to be Kabilos. Alawabi. Down on the right side. Can't find courts as it just goes over his foot. And it goes for a Branton East throw. Look at this crowd here on hand for this Ontario Cup Championship. Great with the sounds. And referee says advantage as Tatum gets the ball. He's going to try and switch it over. But Malati gets the ball back. Malati trying to go up. Can't win the ball off the Blades player. And here comes Osman. Patel into the middle of the field. Oh, yeah, Gooney. Trying to play a through ball and can't find Tatum as OG Rally gets a foot in there. Courts. Courts advantage as the referee there. Starting to let the play go a little bit more freely as the referee. As Tatum's going to come now. Couple nice passes around. Oyaguni's going to switch it over and Patel can't control that. Reminder, coming up next with the under 16 girls action. And it's going to be between the Woodbridge Strikers and the Burlington Bayhawks. And the under 16 girls action. Barnes, OG Rally. Trying to play a through ball, that gets blocked. And Oyaguni goes over for Lima. Lima finds Tatum. That's a three on three break the other way. And coming back though is Riser. Miller still trying to get forward and Bradarich gets falls down, but he hits it out for a corner kick. London fans trying to see if they can find a foul on Bradarich, but it's gonna be a corner kick. And the set pieces have been dangerous for both teams so far in this game. This one's going near post. Had it away by Kabilos. Kabilos trying to get to that second ball. And he is able to. That center back is everywhere. And he's going to make sure that Branson East player is okay. As Lima, not too happy with the collision there. Bouncing around the referees, telling them, relax. And the referee's just going to call him over. Time to cop, relax a little bit here. And it's going to be another Brampton East substitution coming up soon in the final two minutes. So very likely a shooter coming on for the, sh for the shootout. And so have Zali coming in. One of the strikers. So not surprised to see him come on. And London will clear this one away. Olo Abbey. Just the one man back is Gill, and he'll send it over for Barnes. Gill's coming over at that last man, and he'll shut down that attack. Carson Moran, Gill doing well on being that last man back to shut down that London attack, but he's going to be busy here once again as Barnes is going to cut inside, but that got read by Singh. Barnes. Riser. Malati. Try to play it through and find Singh instead. Tatum's going to try and go the other way. And Kabilo's taking no chances. Guys, I want away for throwing. And it looks like Branson East is going to make that change now. Play continues, though. Branson didn't see their substitution. And will they get another chance? And yes, they will. So it's a double substitution here. Joey Vergil, the goal scorer, he's going to come back on, as is Suleiman Avzali. So, shooters coming on. So, James Lima's coming off. 
He doesn't seem too happy about being subbed off here. And it's going to be the captain, Oyaguni, coming off. So Gil and Avzali, two shooters coming on. And he'll replace the captain, Oyaguni. So you're seeing those tactical switches as we are in that those dying moments, waiting for the indication from the fourth official on the additional time. As Brampton East trying to see if they can avoid that, but as we have a ball right to the face. Two minutes left in this game. One on one. If this game goes tight, we go to penalty kicks. Back and forth. The Blades don't want to go there, though. London had all the pressure at the beginning of the game, but the legs started to go away from them as the game progressed, and the Blades had got more of the momentum in this second half. So Bielos had that beautiful free kick hit off the bar. Rebound found to OG Rally on his second effort, found the goal, and that's how this game is tied here. Patel. Gil hits this one high in the air. Zali's gonna try and get this one. This one's bouncing around. A little miscommunication and Kabilos is looking at his defense saying, clear it away, don't make me do it. Sing, down the right side. Patel's pass a little too hard. Handball though on the Brantonese player and that's gonna relieve London of the oncoming pressure. High ball into midfield. Couple pushing and shoving, but it's gonna be Malati hitting this one forward. Olawabi. Olawabi has a Malati. Malati's got fresh legs and a great challenge there coming over is Justin Lima. And he'll shut down the Whitecaps attack. Bouncing the ball around, this could be dangerous. Here comes Tatum. Tatum is through. Tatum, and he gets around the keeper. But Bredaric is back and he saves it. But De Silva, great goalkeeping there, lays the body out. And that forced Tatum to go around him. But there's the long touch. Tatum just had a bit of a long touch. And there is the full time whistle. Tatum with a great opportunity. Touch just was a little bit too far away from him. And that allowed De Silva to come away. And Bradarch gets it back and clears it away. So at the end of the break, we're going to be going to kicks from the penalty spot between the London Youth Whitecaps and the Brampton East Blades to decide the under 14 boys Ontario Cup Championships. Can you believe it? As we wait for them, we of course like to thank one of our final sponsors, Soccer X. Whether you need a new pair of shoes or your team is looking to get outfitted in the latest gear from the largest soccer brands in the world, SoccerX.com is the place to go. SoccerX.com is the official apparel and equipment supplier of the OSA and can provide you with one-stop shopping for everything you and your team need to play, appreciate, coach, or simply enjoy the beautiful game. That's Soccer X. So it's a, if you're new to this, it's a best of five. Shots from the penalty spot between these two teams. And really, most people think the pressure's on the goalie. It's the pressure's on the players, and that's what the goalies have to remember here. Put the pressure on the players here. Because the players are expected to score. The goalies are there to spoil the party. And it's gonna come down to the most composed and relaxed shooters here in this case. It's always been a huge difference which team do they want to shoot first? Do they want to shoot second? Where do you want your best shooters? You want your best shooters first or last? We're starting to see some different methods from all different teams. Seeing in that Euro Cup, seeing some of the, these teams like to have their best shooters going first, just so they can guarantee that their shooters will go and set the pace going. We'll have to wait and see.
Alessandro Mano in goal for the Branson East Blades. Dylan De Silva in goal for the London Whitecaps. Also, a reminder, if you want the photography from the match you're seeing right there, there's Martin Basil. Head over to the OSA website to get all the pictures from this game. And since Oyaguni is off the pitch, Othman is in to take the coin toss. Check that was just in Lima on the coin toss. And we'll have to win. So it looks like, based on Dylan De Silva's pace, it looks like Brampton East Blades are going to shoot first. Also, very uniquely, starting to see a lot of goalies take penalty, sh uh, penalty kicks as well. Maybe we'll be seeing one of these two on the spot. And let's see who's going to be the first shooter for the Blades. Number five, Simran Singh. He was the defensive midfielder throughout the game. Came on as a substitute. He's been going against Dylan Da Silva, who's doing usual goalie tactics, taking his time before getting on the wall and putting more pressure. The longer it takes, you're kind of putting more pressure on the player here. One step, bottom left. Very confident penalty shot there, not taking a huge run up. Just a single step, fired into the left side, did Simran Singh. That is a one for the Blades. First shooter up is the man himself, David Kobilos, for the London Whitecaps. The center back put the defense on his back this game. Can he now put one in the back of the net? Another short warm up, and it's saved! Mano dives to his bottom left, and he makes the save on to Kabilos. And Brampton East, after one shooter, is up one to nothing as Mano stove to his bottom left to make the save. And it's the goal scorer, Driver Gill. He got the goal off a brilliant individual effort from Jordan Knight. He put a cross into the box as Lima left it over for Gill, who went bar down in the top corner to get that Brantonese goal. And he goes right down the middle. And that's two for the Blades. And it's going to be Dominic Kortz. Coming up now for the London Youth Whitecaps. He's got to get his team on the board here. He came on as a substitute striker. Courts. Top corner! That was a brilliant penalty from the striker. And it's two to one now for the Blades. And he came on as a late substitute. It's Raheel Patel, one of those late changes. So obviously he's gonna come up and take a shot.
and he goes into the corner. The silver going the wrong way there. What I'm liking about these penalty kicks, they're not taking huge long run-ups. They're just one, two steps and fire. That avoids any overshooting of any sort. Matea Milidrag, the right fullback. He's out to take the penalty here. Trying to keep his team alive here. Bottom left, and it's in. Mano goes the right way, but that's what happens when you hit it perfectly in the bottom corner. And it's really tough for a goalkeeper to save that, even if they go exactly the right way. And Millie drag into the side netting there, and it's 3-2 to two for the Blades now. Coming up quickly, Adam Othman taking no time. And he misses the goal! Othman coming in quickly to take his penalty, misses the goal. I think he hit off his toe there. And it comes now to Elijah Barnes. If he hits this one, this is back to tied. And it, uh, probably it's Justin Olawavi who's taking that fifth shot for the Whitecaps. So Elijah Barnes to tie this thing back up. And he hits it to the left. Mano going the wrong way and we are tied once again here at the OSA. Unbelievable. These two teams have been deadlocked and these PKs are coming down to the wire as you would expect. And it's Kaysen Miller. He had a couple great chances off his head in the game. Trying to see if he can get it with the foot now. Right down the middle. Kaysen Miller with a hard finish as the Silva dove to his left. Interesting here. And it's going to be the goal scorer, Ryan OG Rally. He's coming up to take the fifth shot. I think maybe Olawabi didn't feel confident, maybe picking up that knee knock during the game, didn't feel confident taking a PK. But if he scores this, we'll go down to sudden death PKs, where it'll be one on one. OG Rally into the bottom left corner, and we are going to sudden death. One shooter apiece each side until we have a victor to decide these under 14 Ontario Cup championships. Number 11, Rodane Tatum. He was the striker. Tatum up to take it. Saved by De Silva, but the flag is up. The flag is up. It's going to be a retake. It is a retake. De Silva came off his line too early, said the assistant referee. That's going to be something. So De Silva is going to have to try and do it again. And he hits it to the bottom corner. So Tatum on the second chance scores. And it's going to be Justin Olawabi. He's coming up to take the sixth shot, the striker. Three. 
Lefty. Saved! And the flag is up again! Flag is up! Mano can't believe it! And now he came off his line early. Unbelievable. This game has had everything. Brantonese thought they won it. But the assistant referee says he came off his line. He said he took a step forward. Off his line. Mano saying he he's saying he took a step forward. To the side and he's saying, okay. So can he stop Oluwabi a second time now? And he hits it down the middle. Unbelievable. Both goalies saved the penalty kick in this sudden death, but both of them came off the line early, according to the assistant referee. And it's going to be Suleiman Afzali. He came on as a late substitute in the last minute of the game. And he shoots it down the middle. De Silva took a step outside, realized it, tried to get back, but he couldn't do so. Looks like he might be going down to the final, final kick takers here. And he came on as a substitute as well for the injured player. And it's Noah Malati coming up for the London News Whitecaps. Malati. And he hits it just to the right. Middle right onto Mano, and he's going to get a yellow card. Malati, I saw that. He said something to Mano there, and he gets a yellow card for descent there. Justin Lima, the center back. We're at shooter number eight here in sudden death penalty kicks. And he hits a middle right. De Silva took a step the wrong way, tried to get back, and couldn't do so there. Number six, Mitchell Riser. Mitchell Riser up to take the kick. Comes Riser right down the middle. Mano jumped a little bit early, thought he was going to the bottom corner. And Riser confidently put it right down the middle. We're getting a number nine. As the other center back, Harson Moran Gill. I think Dylan De Silva was saying he, he wants to go next. Comes Gill, and oh, it looked like De Silva got a piece on that one, and it goes over him. And De Silva's eating himself up to that one. Shooter number nine, Armin Bradaric, the other center back. De Silva just couldn't get a hang on to that one. I'm not sure what it's going to take to separate these two teams. Bradarich right down the middle. And it's the final outfield player.
It's Castro. Pretty sure he's the last one to go before the keeper. For Brampton East. <coughs> it's Castro. And he hits it to the bottom left. He took an unusual run up. Looked like he was coming in as a righty and switched it over to the left foot and put it into the corner. And that fooled De Silva. And it's going to be the keeper. He's going to go 10th. So we're off to Dylan De Silva, the captain. He's going to take this one. and you gotta keep your heads up if you're the Whitecaps. Didn't know what was gonna separate these two teams. And unfortunately it came down to almost the final shooters. But the Brampton East Blades are your Ontario Cup champions. Hogs are on both sides here. Again, very hard fought game. Both these two teams deserved that championship. They played great. And but the Blades, we need a victor, and the Blades are that team. They're gonna take it home. Don't go anywhere though. So I'd like to thank everyone who's tuned in for this under 14 boys final action. Coming up next will be the under 16 girls final between the Woodbridge Strikers and the Burlington Bayhawks. Don't go anywhere. I think we are streaming the, uh, yeah, we are streaming the trophy presentation and the medal presentation. So stay in here and watch the trophy presentation. It's been Martin Holmes here. Don't go anywhere, and I'll see you guys at 12:30 for the under 16 finals. <laughs> 